Hi guys, as usually it's me, Justin of Screen Boys, and you are watching Review Machines. And again we have for review a mini dumper, probably you've already seen some of them on our channel. So we made a video about hydraulic damper and now decided to make one about its mechanical version, which is much cheaper. These machines are designed for transportation different cargos in tough conditions. They are rather popular both at private households and in businesses. One of the most important advantages of this damper is off-road moving. Sometimes it makes this machine indispensable. The most popular example is a building yard full of mud, where it's impossible to use hand barrels and besides there is not enough space for big machines. The damper is equipped with petrol engine, bricks and Stratton 5.5 HP. There is a mechanical transmission and four-wheel drive. Loading capacity is about 600 pounds and the weight of the machine is 300 pounds. Maximum speed is 4 miles per hour, like a fast walking. It's rather compact machine, it's easily may be used in tight space and it's capable to go through doors, which is very important. Ground clearance is decent and allows to move on rough terrain. The cargo body seems to be very durable, it's made of stout steel. The weight of the body is so balanced that it's very easy to unload it. There are big and aggressive off-road wheels. The engine 160cc is a very popular among garden machines and has a good reputation. Control is very simple. There are two levers on the left handle. One of them is a brake and another is a clutch. To start moving you have just to push both levers. At the right handle there is a throttle and the lever to unlock the body, big red button to stop the machine immediately and the handle to change gears. There are four forward gears, neutral and reverse. There is an easy start system and it's really easy to start the engine even in winter. We didn't have any other cargo to test the damper than heavy wheels. It's of course far from maximum loading weight, but I think enough to make some simple tests. And this cargo didn't affect the machine at all, it was moving as if it was empty. Speed is like fast walking, and if it was faster it would be difficult to keep pace with the machine. When we were testing the hydraulic version of the damper we towed the car with it, so the towing power is impressive. And it's really good, in this way the machine may be successfully used for towing different objects. Then we decided to do more difficult tests and move to a deep snow to see how the damper can handle it. And as you see it isn't a problem at all. Four-wheel drive, ground clearance and aggressive tires make the machine quite effective in a deep snow. By the way, the depth at that place was about 20 inches. It was rather interesting to follow the damper, it was hard to walk in the snow, but it dragged me like a husky. There are no doubts that this damper will be very useful if you need to carry some cargo in such conditions. Actually, there are no other variants. Big machines can't work in tight space and it will be almost impossible to carry some cargo on your own. Then we put some heavy wheels to see how it moves under load. But it again didn't affect it at all. It seemed that the damper worked even better, maybe because with some load the wheels got more connection with the ground. Well, another interesting feature, you can easily take off the body. Instead of a body you can install a flat platform, for example. A standard body usually is used for a bar cargo. Also there is a snow plough. Then there are additional sides for the body to increase its capacity. And again the flat platform for transportation some big cargo which couldn't be put into a standard body. And there is a hitch to tow objects. A 
Another feature, the flat platform may be used to install some additional heavy equipment, a big generator or pump for example. In this way, a generator turns into a self-propelled machine. And as you can see, we shoot this video in winter, so let's see how the damper can work with a snow plow. You may adjust the height and then go off the plow. We tested the snow plow with an empty body, that is why it was rather tough to move the snow. It's recommended to use a snow plow with the load body, but nevertheless we managed to clean some snow as you can see. Then the ground should be quite plain, otherwise a plow may graze hammocks and it will be very difficult to clean snow. In this way I think this damper may be used for a snow removing, but if the snow is not very deep or heavy. Well, let's sum up our review. You know, I've realized just now, I haven't told you what the name of the model is. Sorry about that, it's INTBY250. After all, I think it's quite cheap and effective machine, that may be very useful in certain conditions, especially if you need to transport cargoes on rough terrain and tight places. Well, I hope you liked my review, thanks for watching, please consider subscribing, it will be many more interesting materials, goodbye.